All right. Hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming. Today is Wednesday, November 30th, and we're going to be talking about multi-day tours and how I like to advertise for them. Right. Everybody advertises different. Everybody, you know, markets different. So we're just going to be going over kind of what I do when it comes to advertising for the multi-day tours. Right. So as you guys can see, we're on Viator. This happens to be one of my favorite activities and tour sites. Um, when you think about Viator, you, you might not think about multi-day tours, but they do have them. Um, and they have up to like 15 multi-day tour. So there is, the options are pretty wide. Um, with the tours on Viator, right? So the accommodations will be provided and the transportation to and from the destinations. But you will have to provide airfare for your clients, which my clients have had not, you know, not had any issues with that. Um, you know, but every client's different. So, you know, if they want a package, just find a vendor that will give you guys that option. All right. So what I like to do with Viator is just go to the search box and you can do several options. All right. If you're looking for a destination, a specific destination, you can just type in multi-day tours for, um, let's just say Europe. Right, and it'll pull all of the multi-day tours for Europe, right? But what you can also do is you can go to Google and you can find top destinations and you can build tours off of top destinations. So for me right now, um, I kind of would like to see what they have available for the Grand Canyon because uh, I really like the Grand Canyon. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna type in Grand Canyon. Um, and it might not come up anything, y'all. And if it doesn't, that's okay. We'll just expand our search, All right? All right. So I just go down. You guys see on the menu on the left side. Oh, I, I didn't even think, you know, if you're not registered for Viator, y'all, it's fairly simple to register. You can go through the Travel Cafe, all right? And they put the vendors in ABC order. So Viator will be at the very bottom close to the very bottom, right? And you'll sign in with a link and they'll give you a code. Um, it's got a code in the Travel Cafe. It's P0006, uh, I can't remember the exact number, um, but do not copy and paste, write it down so that when you go into Viator to register, you can actually type it out because it will not accept it if it's copy pasted. Um, and then you'll get immediate access to Viator, right? And anytime you are in Viator, make sure you're looking above and uh, have your name, right? And make sure it says travel agents, okay? Because if you are not in your travel agent site, you will not earn commission, okay? All right. So with the tours, as you guys can see, there are 5,000 tours, over 5,000 tours for the Grand Canyons. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to the duration and I'm going to click three plus days. All right. Because I want multi day tours. So we're going to see what it pulls up. All right. They have some. I figured they would. They usually do not um, disappoint. Right. So with multi day tours, you guys can see they have the three day, seven day, all right? And your advertising is just based off of what you would like to put out there, right? You can do the seven day or you could do the three day or even the four day, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna click the three day for right now. Um, and we're just gonna see what it's got available. And you guys could see it's, the reviews are most likely pretty good. They have five stars. I've never had an issue with any of the activities or tours that I have booked on Viator. Um, all of my commissions have been paid out when they're supposed to, right? And I've just never had any issues with Viator, right? And let's, we can see their pictures. Their pictures are really nice, right? If you guys have never been to the Grand Canyon, um, I would recommend going. I wanted to go this past August, but was not able to go. Uh, did not realize that convention was going to be as jam-packed as what it was, 
but next year I intend on staying a little bit longer so I can go out there. Um, all right, these pictures are wonderful. Right, so what I like to do is I grow down and I just see what involves this tour, okay? So this is a camping trip, guys. See right here, camping trip. So make sure that when you're looking for your tours that you know what it is providing, okay? Because if you go on and you make a flyer just off of three-day national parks tour, you know, a lot of clients are not going to think about it's a camping trip, okay? So keep that in mind, guys. I personally do not mind the camping. Um, I'm a big camper. We go camping all the time. So I would not mind, right? But a lot of people, they're just not into camping anymore. It's totally cool, right? So Escape Las Vegas for natural beauty on this three-day, two-night excursion set among the national parks, right? So three-day camping trip to Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, as well as the Grand Canyon. Camping equipment, meals per itinerary, and minibus transportation from Las Vegas is included, right? So all the transportation is included as well, right? And you can upgrade to a comfor comfortable lodging accommodation, right? So that is actually a plus, right? What's included, right? Transportation for, by 14 passenger air conditioned minibus, light breakfast, um, lodging accommodations if selected. All right, so we will stick with this one. All right, so they have three lunch and three breakfasts. So they would have to provide the dinners. Uh, let's see, All right, what is excluded? All right, gratuities, hotel pick up and drop off. So you would have to make sure that wherever the meeting point is for this tour, that your clients had transportation because they will not pick you up for this tour. All right, let's see. All right, yes, yeah, so the departure point and the pickup would be the Mirage Hotel in Las Vegas, all right? So they provide all of the details that you need, right? You do not have to put all of this detail into your, you know, advertising that you put on social media or your Google or even your Wix page, you know, whatever kind of um, sites you guys use because everybody uses different things, all right? So if you have a client that is already in Las Vegas um, and they would like to explore, this would be absolutely wonderful, All right? So we can go back to, let's go back to home or you could just type in search, all right? I'm gonna go back to the Grand Canyon because I would like to see those seven day tours. All right, and all the destinations are different, guys. If you're looking for Hawaii, you can do um, Hawaii. All right, guys, just kind of anywhere you're looking for, you're able to do. All right, if you have a certain destination that you would like me to look up, feel free to put that in the chat box as well. Um, all right, so this one is a seven-day tour from San Francisco, Yosemite, Las Vegas, Grand Canyon, and Zion from Los um, Angeles. Let's see. All right, let's see, seven days, six nights. Um, accommodation and breakfast is included at Santa Clara, Modesto, Stevenson Ranch, um, and you'll visit Hearst Castle instead of Yosemite in the winter months. Okay, so if your client wants to go during the winter months, they will just be visiting a different spot. All right, tour guide, transportation, and breakfast. All right, so they would be responsible for their lunch as well as their dinners okay all right so that's okay I like this one um it goes through several areas and we can look at the pictures and see how they look all right guys I'll keep checking on the chats just in case you all have um any questions all right, and so these are good pictures, you guys, that you can use also for advertising. Uh, what I like to do is make flyers. I'll add several pictures and I'll put just some information about the actual tour. All right, we can, we can pick specific dates um, or we can just leave it as is and put an asterisk beside it because that would be like a starting point, okay? Right, you click see more and you would be able to see the pictures that's associated with it. 
All right, so this tells you exactly where it goes. It goes to California, Nevada, Utah, and Arizona, right? And this is the details that you could add in on your flyer. Attractions include a 17 mile drive, a cruise on a San Francisco Bay, and an evening tour of the Las Vegas Strip, right? And they usually have a day by day breakdown. All right, let's see if we can find that. All right, here, look, guys, and the reviews are really good also, okay? see what to expect all right here we go day by day all right so day one all right it shows you all the details that you need all right you do not have to put all of these details on your advertising um but it's good to kind of do like day by day all right and it tells you where the location that they will be staying in Right, and we can look at day two. I'm not gonna look at all of them. I'm just showing you guys that they you have the option to look at everywhere they're gonna be staying, all right? And it also provides the breakfast, all right? So with the tours, if it does not provide the lunch and the dinners, all right, they will be in areas and they will make stops so that you're able to have lunch and that you're able to have dinner. So they're not gonna keep you in, um, a vehicle for six hours straight and not let you guys, uh, your guys' clients eat lunch or anything like that, okay? Um, right, so Viator is one of my favorite sites. There are other sites that you guys can look into for different tours. Uh, you can do Trafalgar. Um, another one that I really, really like, you can see I have it saved right here. It's Key Tours Vacation. Um, and it's really good. Their reviews are really good as well. Um, I'm just kind of showing you guys. I'm already registered with them. Um, you can find, if you can't find them in the Travel Cafe, you guys, you can find them on Google. Just make sure when you go to register for them that you look for the travel agent portal, okay? Um, and also you can find a lot of sites within BranchUp. So if you're looking for different sites that you can register for, look, go to BranchUp and look inside their suppliers tab, okay? All right, so with this tour, I will pick a date. I'm just gonna do, I'm actually gonna leave it in April, guys, because um, the spring is one of the best times to visit. Oh, uh, let me see. I see a chat. Um, okay. Uh, Joseph said that uh, he has bad connection or something because my voice is breaking up. All right. Can everybody hear me okay? Yes. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. All right. Great. Okay, um, sometimes my internet does get a little crazy though when we have bad storms, but thankfully no storms today. All right, so let's pick, I'm just gonna do two travelers. All right, you, it has the travelers already and it says you can select up to three travelers in total. And if you're booking a large group, you know, just click this link right here, okay? All right, let's see, and it'll show us what's available. All right, so for the two of them, it would be breakfast on day two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right. And they would depart Monday at 6.30 a.m. All right. So we can build it just off of per person. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the pictures and I'm just going to pull a couple of the pictures that I find really pretty. Um, so that way I can show you guys kind of what I do for advertising as well. Let's see, let's click see more, All right? And I do not wanna use the traveler's photos. There's only one, but I, I never use the traveler's photos. I always use the vendor photos. All right, so that would be San Francisco. I'm gonna save this, All right? Save as. Play. All right, and I'm going to go to mock booking flyers, and I'm just going to save it in my mock booking flyers. All right. And I'm going to get a couple pictures of the Grand Canyon as well. And I'm just going to click save as. 
and make it sure it's in the right folder. All right, and save it. All right, I'm not going to go through all the photos. I'm just looking for some of the best ones that I find to be the most attractive. All right, I'm going to don't like that one. All right. And okay, I will get that boat one. And here we go, the bridge one. Save as not booking flyers. Okay. So I'm gonna exit out of this. All right, and I'm gonna leave this page up because I'm gonna take some of the details um, from this site, just copy and paste some of the details to put on my flyer. Okay, guys. All right, so I already have Canva pulled up. And I'm going to give it just a second so that you guys can see my screen. Let's see, all right, all right. Can everybody see my screen, my Canva screen? All right, thank you, Miss Renee. All right. Canva happens to be one of my favorite sites to use for advertising and marketing. So. Me personally, I have Canva Pro, but they do have a free version of Canva, right? You use the free version, utilize everything inside of it that you're able to. You do not have to purchase the Pro. Um, I, and I did because I added a couple of people to my Canva team. Um, and the only way that I was able to do that was by getting the Pro. Um, but I find that I use it a lot. I use it for everything from marketing for my business, um, editing family photos, doing invitations for birthdays. Uh, we even do different um, things for our homeschool within our site, um, flyers and things like that. So I use it a lot, right? And the best thing about Canva is everything is pretty much can be edited. Um, so if anything messes up, you can always go back, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in travel flyer and it's gonna pull me all the templates that they have for travel flyers. So I'm going to change the pictures and everything that I find. Um, I'm just looking for just a template that I like. Which it doesn't, um, guys, don't make it too hard, all right? All right, you guys can see some of the images. They have the little crown and it says pro. These images, if you're using the free version, they would have like little lines, triangles through them. Um, it would be like watermark, All right, guys? So if you're using the free version, just find whichever ones that are available that don't have them. Because there's a lot, even this one. I mean, I actually think I'm going to use this one because I'm going to edit the information on it anyway. I just like the way that this looks. <clears throat> Let's just give this a second to come on. Canva is my favorite for advertising. If you guys don't use Canva, that's fine, All right? Just utilize whatever tools that you have at hand. Okay, so let me move this little chat thing and let's go back to right here. All right, I'm gonna copy some of this information. The title, seven day tour. All right, and the airfare is not included. So we definitely wanna make sure um, that we put in there that the airfare is not included. Okay, guys. Okay. So as you can see, <laughs> everything can be taken away. Um, and everything can be put back. So 
if you mess up and you delete something, just press this little button at the top and it'll undo everything. I'm not gonna press it though, because I want all this stuff gone. All right, and you can also build, oh, we're gonna leave spring because we did the April. Um, you can build templates from scratch, uh, but honestly, I'm just trying to minimize the time. You know, we already spend enough time doing our business stuff, you know, so why not utilize what we have at hand, okay? All right, I knew I spelled that wrong. I just couldn't see because it was so small. All right, vacations with Brittany, and I'm going to put my, nu my number. And I'm going to put my email. All right, I have another email is vacations with Brittany at Gmail, but sometimes it's, you know, it's really long. So I shortened it not too long ago. And I find that this one works out a little bit better. Um, what I'll also do is I will get my link tree and grab a QR code and throw it on the flyer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the title right here. All right, and I'm going to change this picture. So I'm going to go to upload. And I'm going to upload a file. And we're going to go to mock booking. And oh, I wonder what it happened. It downloaded all of the photos. Oh, I have no idea. We're just not even going to mess with that. And we're just going to go right back here. All right. So the best thing about having a laptop, you guys, is there's a snipping tool on our laptops. And when you cannot get the pictures to download, the snippet tool is the best, all right? So I'm just gonna take a snippet of the picture and I'm gonna save it. <laughs> and I'm gonna put Grand Canyon. And I'm gonna exit off of that and I'm gonna grab another one, all right? I wanna make this one big because I want the whole picture. All right, and let me grab my snip and tool again. Okay. And I'm gonna save this, and I'm gonna do Grand Canyon tour. We'll do one. All right, so I'm only gonna get four pictures. Um, let's see, I'm going to get this one. No, oh, I don't want to save it. Let me screen snap it again. So they're all in one spot. Save this one. I think I spelled that right, but I'll leave it. All right. And then I wanted to get one of these pictures, this one, because this one was the prettiest. What I'll do, y'all, is I'll just throw these pictures on the flyer. I'll put on some of the information and I'll put a starting point price, save. Fire. All right, and let's upload files. All right, I'm going to go to my screenshots and I'm going to type it in. Canyon one and open. All right, and it should pull it up. Perfect. All right, it's showing all the images. Just a second so that it can come on. So it won't let me grab it unless it's almost there. All right. 
Let's see. All right, that looks pretty good. And I'm gonna take that off of there. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. All right, the spring, right? And let's upload the rest of our images. Okay. Right, I've been using Canva for almost two years now. Um, so Canva to me is pretty fast to use. But if you get on here and you're like, oh, this is this is kind of hard to use, just keep playing around with it, y'all. Um, it gets easier by the day. I actually just want to put that right there. Okay. And I'm going to crop the image so that this part is further down. Travels with us. We'll plant one tree in force of need. Okay, that's not coming in like we need it to. No. All right, we'll just put this one back. Not a big deal. All right. frame and I'm just going to put the picture right here. All right, if you see that it's behind there and you don't want it to be, then just duplicate it, right? And you're able to put it wherever you want to put it. Right, so I'm actually just going to delete that one. Delete frame. Canva will also help you align everything up so everything is kind of lined up. All right, and let's go back and get some of the information and the price point. Right, and I really like um, to utilize Canva's content planner because we're able to schedule out the post to all of our social media. Okay, and that's some good information pertaining to the actual tour. It gives you know a good description of what the tour um, entails. Right, so we're going to go back to our flyer and. What we're going to do is we're going to add text. Right, we're going to add a little bit of body. And I'm going to make it a little bigger because I can't see that. And I'm going to click inside of the box and I'm going to click paste. Right, and so that paste all of the information that we just copied. Um, let's see, here we go. If I can grab it and move it. There we go. There we go. Okay. I might take some of the information off just to shorten it if it doesn't fit. I'm gonna move that. That's just in the way. Spring. Mm -hmm. And you know, everybody advertises different guys. So, you know, if you guys don't like the way um, my flyer looks, that's totally fine. All right. Nobody advertises the same exact way. I do not think that's lined up. Let's try again. Okay, there we go. And I'm gonna make the whole section bold. So I'm gonna highlight this and bold it. All right. Let's see. Right, and let's see if we can make the, the actual writing just a little bit bigger. Okay. 
All right, see guys, everything can be, you know, edited and fixed up. All right, perfect. I'm gonna leave the little dots. I don't mind the little dots. Um, let's see, I'm gonna make it a little smaller so I can see it. And, okay, spring travel across the American West to see some of the top destinations on a six night tour. Um, attractions include Seven Mile Drive. Um, okay, that looks good. I'm gonna move this up just a little bit because I want it to be, let's see. Okay, I like that. All right, the only thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my link tree. Right, link tree admin. And the only reason I use my link tree is because it has all of my affiliate links on there. It has my Viator link, it has my golden tickets. Um, if it'll come in, okay, I think it's going now. And it also has my quote form. So anybody that goes to my link tree, if they're wanting information uh, on a tour or even, you know, they see my advertising, but they want something different, they'll be able to utilize my link tree and get a quote or utilize my link tree and get a tour package, all right? So if anyone uses your link, you will receive confirmation for it um, either through email or sometimes if your job form is set up through Google, it'll go through Google. All right, so let me go to my actual page. I don't know, let's see. I don't want to share. Maybe I can share. Oh, here we go. Look, I found a different way to get um, a link, guys. I mean, a QR code. All right. So this is my admin site. I don't want it to go to my admin site. So let's see. Oh, I shouldn't have clicked anything. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click travel inquiry and I'm going to get the QR code for that. All right, and this goes to my job form. Yes, okay. All right, create a QR code. All right, I love the little dinosaur. It's too cute, All right? And we're going to change the name. All right, let me put my name. QR code. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go back. And let me go back to uploads and we're gonna upload a file. I'm gonna type in, oh, it might be in my downloads, hang on just a second. Yeah, here we go. I love the QR codes, they're super cool. Put it on my page and I'm going to stick it down at the bottom. Oh, good gracious. Okay, and let me scoot it over just a tad. Okay. All right. So I want to see what this looks like. Okay, all right, that's pretty good. I can see, I can read it. Um, guys, if you guys see me, I, I wear glasses, so my vision's not too good. So being able to see and read the writing is it's really big for me. Um, all right, so the only thing I did not do was put on a price. So what we'll do is we'll go back and we will do from right here. 
All right, and we'll also add in price varies by group size, okay? And we'll go back to our flyer. All right, let me exit out of these two. Okay, I'm gonna make it just a little bit bigger. And I'm going to add a text box, a little bit of body. We're gonna just make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Just gonna move this up just a little. Okay. And I'm gonna make it bold. Oh, it didn't bold. Okay. Well, there you go. Oh goodness. PP. All right. The PP stands for per person. All right. So two, two, two. All right. And right here, I'm going to put in airfare not included. I'm just going to leave that off, all right, because there's nothing in there about the air. It's just saying six night tour, Los Angeles. Okay, all right, and I'm going to click share, all right? So I have all of my social media set up, all right? So the first place I'm going to do is share to social, all right? So you can do your Facebook page, your Instagram business page, um, LinkedIn business page, okay? So you can do all of those. Oops, did not mean to do that. Right, so the first place I'm going to share it is going to be my Facebook page. You guys can see this is my business page, Vacations with Brittany. And what I'm going to do is go back over here and scroll down just a little. And let's see. Right, I'm just gonna copy this part right here. Down to here, all right? And that's gonna be what is on this right here, all right? And I'm also gonna put spring trip. And also, guys, make sure you put some kind of contact details. And I'll put my phone number. Of course, even though it's on the flyer, I still do it in a post. Contact me I'm at Vacations with Britain. All right. And guys, you know, um, little emojis, they always, always stand out. So I'm going to add an emoji if it'll let me. Uh, let's see, let's do an airplane. Oh, no, we don't want to do the airplane. Uh, let's see, try again. Mm -hmm. You just search emojis and I'm going to look for like maybe a mountain. Uh, let's see. Emojis on the computer is really new to me. I did a meeting last week and I was actually just informed that you are able to do this. Um, super cool. Thank you for this info because I never would have known this. Uh, I like emojis because they really stand out on a post. They make it kind of look, you know, really fun and interactive. Uh, here, let's just type it in. A mountain, um, M O U N T A I N. Oh, I guess it would pull it if I pull the right thing. Here we go. Perfect. Um, let's see. We're going to leave that right there. All right. And usually I would do hashtags, but because the actual post is kind of long, I'm just going to leave it as it is. All right. And I'm going to click publish now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on to Facebook and I'll show you guys in just a second kind of what it 
looks like on Facebook. Um, and it doesn't take but just a few minutes on getting your social media set up to Canva. Um, but with that, I believe it's only for Canva Pro. So if you're looking for like a content planner, um, definitely do the Canva Pro. All right, guys, there we go. I really like that flyer. Everything looks good about it. And it's a seven day tour. And guys, what you could also do is you can, this link right here where it says share with client, right? You can share the actual link with the post and you can have your potential clients actually book this for themselves, okay? I would rather work with my client one-on-one. -on -one. That's the only reason I don't put it on social media, right? But there's the actual post, right? And I'm gonna copy this so that I can put it on my Instagram. Right, that's fairly neat, neat and fairly easy, right? It only took, you know, minus me chit chatting. It only took about 20 minutes for it to go through. Um, let's do Instagram business, okay? And it's too tall. So I don't wanna resize it yet. I'm just gonna change the social media, the, um, where I share it. Cause I do not wanna resize it yet. So I'm gonna put it on my LinkedIn page. I'm just gonna paste the same information. Right, scroll up, make sure, all right. And publish now. And that's gonna get posted to my LinkedIn business page. Right, so I have my personal page on LinkedIn and also a business page on LinkedIn. Right, and that kind of goes with all of the social media platforms. I have my business page on Facebook, Instagram, and even TikTok, right? And also um, I have personal pages on all of those, right? So we're gonna share one more social. Um, it is not a video, so I'm not gonna put it on TikTok. Uh, let's see. Okay, I will do Instagram business now. I will just resize it. So when it resizes, you guys, you will have to make sure that all of it is lined up because it does change everything. That's why I waited until the last one to resize. Post, I don't see that it resized it, but we'll see. And it's preparing. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, as far as advertising, you just take some of the information off of the actual tour detail, put on the base point price, and always let your clients know that the price may change. All right, and it says price varies by group size per person, but the actual tour price, that is pretty much what it's gonna be outside without the taxes, All right? So another one I wanted to show you guys, I'm not gonna do any kind of advertising for it. I just wanna show you guys another one of these is I actually have not made a booking within Key Tours, um, but I really want to <laughs> because their site is absolutely amazing, right? So you can choose, you can explore, right? And it'll about us, meet our team, request brochures, and the brochures can be sent to your house directly, all right? And you can do by destination. And so they have quite a lot. And they have North America, Europe, Middle East, right? As well as Egypt. Right, I really like Egypt. And we'll just see the tours that they have available within the site. Right, you can also create um, custom tours and custom group tours. Um, you would just need to reach out to the sales department, right? And they would be able to help build a package for you. And right, so Key Tours is really nice. I love the way their site is set up. All right, so I actually have a list of a few other tour sites that you guys can um, get into. One I will go ahead and show you. Um, so multi-day tours, we have Key Tour Vacations, Trafalgar, Viator, um, Exotica, and Inside Vax. It is a new site. 
Um, I highly recommend looking at the reviews before you guys make a booking, all right? And then we have ETS Tours. ETS Tours is the leaders in faith-based travel, all right? I love ETS Tours. Um, I did a training on ETS Tours not too long ago. All right, so we're gonna go to ETS Agents. You can register. If you're not registered, you can do a travel agent sign up. Right, so with the ETS tours, it is Holy Land, mission trips, um, spiritual retreats, cultural retreats, um, cultural tours. Uh, let's see, let me log in. All right, I'm not going to keep you guys too much longer. I just kind of want to show you what um, ETS tours is about. All right, if I can remember my login, I'm pretty sure everyone's is the same though. Right, so to actually get your specific, yeah, to get your specific agent ID within the ETS tours, you're going to call ETS tours and request, right? Especially if you're going in to make a reservation, you need your agent ID within ETS tours so that you can receive commission on it, all right? Because the commission within, within ETS tours is really, really good. Um, we get anywhere, up to 350 per person on the Holy Land tours. And when it comes to up to um, like your river cruises, it is up to $1,000 per person commission. All right. So let's see. Okay, here we go. All right. And this is the brochure that they have available. Um, you can click through it. Let me see if I can make it big. Uh, let's see, maybe this is it. All right. So you can use this page itself and make tours based off of those. And everything is clickable, guys, you can see. All right. You can click BTS tours. And this is the number that you will call, right, to speak with someone about getting your agent ID. All right. And it has like a little video that you can watch. I love ETS tours, y'all. I really do. Right, but I was ra I'm raised Baptist. Um, I lived with my grandmother most of my life. And I was raised across the street from a Baptist church. So religion is, you know, it's in my upbringing. Um, so that's why it's, it really speaks to me. All right. And it says right here, most of our packages encompass expenses from the time you board the plane until the time that you arrive home. All right. So it is all inclusive. And a lot of the tours will include airfare from a certain city. So so let's say New York, all right? So you'll start your tour in New York, the airfare is included. So if you do not live in New York, it will be up to you as the travel agent to let your client know that, it, say I'm going from Louisiana to New York, that airfare will not be included within the actual tour price, okay? So that would be separate. All right, and this is the most up-to-date flyer. All right, it has some of the best information within it. And you guys can see, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. All right, let's see, here we go. All right, and it tells you the prices as well. All right, so, and these are the departure points for this specific itinerary. All itineraries are gonna be different. The dates that they leave are gonna be different, right? So they have set date departures for the year coming up. And, this is what they are, and this is how much they are per person, all right? All right, let's see if I can exit out that. Okay, there we go. Right, let me go back to find a trip, and let's see if it will take us back to the, the dashboard page. All right, and that way you'll be able to see some of the tours that they have available. Right, not too much longer, guys. I'm just going to show you guys this, and then we'll close out our session, all right? So they have the $99 special, the browse tours, guys, they do have these available, all right? Their booking window might be closing soon as to why they are $99 specials, all right? But you can get in here, you can see what they have available and you would search by tour code, okay? So each tour has a code that you're going to either copy and paste or write down. So when you go in to actually make the reservation, you'll have the correct tour code. Right, so Holy Land Tours, Bible Land Cruises, right, River Cruises, and you guys can see it says in partnership with AMA Waterways, ETS offers faith-based cruising at its finest, right? I love AMA Waterways. Their ships are really, really pretty, right? And you do 
you can get private tours and as well as church heritage tours and retreat cruises, all right? The retreat cruises are on ships like Carnival, Royal Caribbean, all right? And um, cultural tours, immerse yourself into culturals. Oh my gosh, cultures around the world. There we go, if I could just say that. Um, and ETS can also do custom tours for groups of 25 or more. So they really will work with you um, within everything, right? Africa and Asia, and as well as Europe. And um, you can just browse the tours and see which ones are available. They have so much within this site. Right, so a pilgrimage, journeys of Paul of in Greece, splendors of Italy. So they really do have so much available for us. Okay, y'all. Um, and if you guys want to look at their reviews, go right ahead and do that. Their reviews are pretty good as well. I've been working with ETS and working within their site for about six to eight months now, um, and I have not, I've not had an issue. Okay. All right, does anybody have any questions? Any Anything that they would like to add to today's session? All right, I'm gonna give it just a second and then we will go ahead and stop the recording. All right, no, 